Do not think. You can think with your heart in every situation that you want to except the situation of having a child. That is the only fucking issue that we have in the black community is emotional females having children. If you take that out, the, if you take that out, then we don't have violence because we don't have unwanted children. Every generation, the youth gets worse and worse. Why? Because there are more and more unwanted children. That is the only issue. The only issue is nothing as bitches trying to save relationships by having babies. The, the ugly lady said, uh, she called it, uh, keep a nigga baby. Welcome back to the Big Fast Podcast. Um, I'm Eric Conseco, fearless leader of AO Nation, and this is Are You Fucking Serious? Today we're gonna watch a video on a 16 year old girl. Coming up to her mama room and let her know how it's going to go down about the phone. Because the 16 year old just got caught doing that shit that she was taught. Probably by her fucking mama. Probably how her mama got her baby daddy. Probably how her mama got her daddy. In the bathroom taking these fucking, you know what I'm saying? Get me pregnant pictures. And this what the fuck happened. Y'all check it out. I don't need to ask you what you would do in that situation. Um, let, let, let's see if we can't try to fix some shit. How do you think she got that that attitude like that? Not not. We don't even gotta go into the whole. That girl. Back her mama down. You know what I'm saying. After this little bitch gave it to her mama. Bitch, I don't give a fuck, bitch. Bitch. The mama just had to say, okay. Because she couldn't do shit. At 16 year old. You've been thinking this whole time. As you've been feeding this little evil bitch. Your evil ways. You've you, you been thinking it's been straight. For you to be on the phone. Talking shit about the daddy and, and, and doing all this and that. You know what I'm saying? And you think because you tell the child that you love her at nighttime or when y'all get off the phone, whatever like that, that's, that this shit right here ain't going to happen. That's going to that's gonna subdue the child. Even to the fact, well, you thinking that you teaching the child how to protect herself by giving her a... The ghetto bitch mentality. Don't let nobody tell you nothing. Don't let no all that right there. You 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 thought that that was gonna make her to where, um, 
she don't get bullied at school and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't want nobody and all that shit right there. Only to find out that she's going to use that in every hostile situation she gets in. You taught her not to respect anyone but herself. So if she feel like she been she getting played, she need to handle that in any situation. And now it forces you to make an impossible decision. Do I let this motherfucker go like this and disrespect me? And uh. Oh, I almost didn't see you standing there. Come on in, it's cold out. Hey, have you heard? <laughs> For the whole month of December, AO Nation is having a blowout sale. Get any hat and shirt combination for thirty dollars. That means snapbacks, scullies, big facts. Are you serious? My favorite, thirty dollars. Also, for the whole month of December, when you go to PayPal.me forward slash Are You Serious Ten, you'll get an email back letting you know that Christmas doesn't exist. <laughs> Be sure when you hit the PayPal to donate, you go to paypal.me forward slash Aaron337 if you want your donation read on the show. Remember, the AO Nation donation conversation is every other Sunday. Don't be late. I'm serious. Also, don't forget, get your shit together, big homes. All right, get the fuck out. And destroy everything you destroyed. You destroyed. If your 16 year old daughter talks to you like that and don't shit and you can lay back in the bed, you're destroyed. You failed. You have failed. You got other kids in the room Recording, not just on their phone, but mentally recording what went on. They can act like, oh, no, nah, mom, it's all good. But those kids don't respect you from that point forward. Because you thought it was more important to be this child's friend. And you thought it was cool. To, Your dad ain't shitting. Ah, you make sure God. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't see how fucked up your ways were until you seen it in that child. It was at that very moment that you, God damn, that's what I did. This is who I've been my whole life. This is why the father didn't want to be with me. This is why I work at motherfucking checkers. This is why I don't got no car. This is why I got three kids and I stay in the fucking projects. Because that's who I am. I remember when I was her age, I was the same fucking way. That's what you're saying in your mind. How much longer do you think it's going to be before she get pregnant? Do you think you're going to be able to tell her whether or not to keep the child or not? Okay. But a lot of you out there, I want to give a shout out to somebody. Um, I don't know why, but um, I, I it, it's so many comments, I can't see all the motherfuckers. Um, it was a girl who commented, a lady actually, who commented on my Cardi B video um, when I was speaking about nothing ass bitches. If if the, if you have a child by a dude who does not want to have a child with you, you are nothing ass bitch because your child is gonna grow up like this little retarded bitch. Period. Point blank. But of course, this retarded bitch. Um, didn't like that. I don't want to call her retarded bitch because um, after looking at her, her name was, uh, I probably shouldn't say her name, but um, she was an older lady. She stayed in the project. She don't got no call. She cake on makeup before she get on, put a whole wig on. If she don't got that on, she stays an adult. But she was just talking about her life. And I was looking at her and I, I, I don't know why I just felt so fucking sorry for her. I felt so fucking sorry for this fucking lady. I was listening to her, um, and even she said it, uh, after listening to her for about 20 minutes, she said, I don't think a woman should have a child unless he says he wants to have a child. 
And I would hope that you girls that are 16 years old aren't so fucking contaminated by the powers that be and their tactics that you can't pick up on game and hear even from an ugly, unattractive bitch. It's, it's, it's so fucked up because you would the reason why you wouldn't hear what a ugly, uh, unattractive, overweight bitch says, the reason why you wouldn't hear it is because you feel like her struggle isn't yours. And that's where we lose it. And like I said, this whole situation is real. It's sad as fuck, really. I, but I have to be tough and hard down because it's too many niggas like Ice JJ Fish and all these lame ass niggas, uh, uh, Action Jack, what Derek Jackson and shit like that. These niggas who pump these bitches up off of their emotions. If we already know that females are far more emotional and they think off their emotions, and when you think off your emotions, you make mistakes, then why? When we tell a, 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 a female, hey, listen, listen, don't think with your heart. Do not think. You can think with your heart in every situation that you want to except the situation of having a child. That is the only fucking issue that we have in the black community is emotional females having children. If you take that out, the, if you take that out, then we don't have violence because we don't have unwanted children. Every generation of youth gets worse and worse. Why? Because there are more and more unwanted children. That is the only issue. The only issue is nothing as bitches trying to save relationships by having babies. The, the ugly lady said, uh, she called it, uh, keep a nigga baby. You know what I'm saying? The fucked up part about it is, I'm going to tell you some shit. Me and yo was in the mall uh, the other day, and I seen my bitch. I'm trying this. She actually used to work in the mall and shit like that. I seen my bitch, dog. This, this bitch, like, I'm talking about how I was, shit, I was probably like 19, about to be 20 years old and shit like that. Maybe even 18. This was my bitch, dog. Like, it, we, we were just having, I love you. I like, we, we, like, we both cheating on, like, we both got somebody at home, but we cheating and shit like that. So, like, we meet at the mall and just be making out and shit like that. Then that was the bitch I was telling y'all about that when she told me to put a condom on, I said, all right, and I fucking left. Like, bitch, are you serious? But, like, we were just, it was just such an intense relationship because we both cheating and fuck it, like, ah, oh, fuck it, oh. We didn't do whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's the best relationship is a relationship you're not supposed to be in, like, um, a relationship with your coworker and shit like that, an actual coworker that you want to fuck, not not your your boss because you doing that for your career. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking a relationship that you're not really supposed to have, but you really... Oh man, I like the physical who you are. Of course you're gonna like the physical. Um you're not gonna get to know the mental. And then plus uh, until y'all fuck, you know what I'm saying, that shit's not gonna matter because you just gonna be so fascinated by the motherfucker. Everything is funny, like nothing's offensive, then that's just how it is before you fuck somebody. It's not till after that that you actually like, oh, that's how you are? Oh yeah, that's not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? It's that shit. But we were just so you know what I'm saying? And then I saw in the mall the other day, and I had to tell yo, like, is that goddamn? And she had a real unique name, and yo couldn't even understand the girl's name. I'm like, oh my, because she had, you know, she got a, I, 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 I want every girl out there to have natural hair. Do not wear weave, do not wear contacts, do not wear makeup, none of that shit. You are naturally how you're supposed to be, pure point blank. What you can do, naturally. When, when I say she had a natural, she's going through the ugly phase of a natural. You know, if I grow my hair out, I'm going to have the ugly phase. The phase after the fade or the little fro goes away and I just a mid fro. And it's the phase in between the fade and the dread. So now you just got a fro. The shit look crazy. But 
she was going through that phase. So it wasn't that it was ugly. You catch her five years from now, you know what I'm saying? It should be long and, and luxurious, beautiful. But um, but she had the, the, the natural, it was wrapped up in a, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck that was. She wearing some old lady jeans, some old lady shoes, like she not need. All of her weight has went right here to the midsection on some shit. Like, and like, what was I expecting? We, we 30 now. Like, I, I, we was teenagers then. Like, what the fuck? But she got older. She probably got kids. And she was some fat nigga and shit like that. And I seen her. And it's like she was trying her best. And, I, and I, I, I I get that a lot now. Like, bitches you used to fuck with. Even when well, niggas don't really give a fuck. But, but if they fucked up, they, they'll give a fuck. But they not going to hide. They going to ask you for money. But bitches, they try to hide when they know that they don't look the way they used to look. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it happens. We don't we don't learn at 16 years old to exercise. Um, Cause you just fine as fuck. You know what I'm saying? You think the high school bitch just this 16 year old girl's mother was probably fine as fuck, just like the 16 year old is. She she has to be some type of fine if she's in the bathroom. But even though fat bitches be trying to trick niggas in the bathroom, but. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can see she was petite. The mom was probably fine in high school, too. And you just think that that shit's gonna last forever. And then your body starts to slow the fuck down. And now, it matters what you eat. Now you're trying to go on this diet, and now you realize that you don't have time for anything but work and going home. And that's when you realize you're a slave. And that's when you try to go out here, and that's, now you find yourself on a fucking uh, a website like Tinder or Plenty of Fish. Like, just trying to find any type of human interaction. You know what I'm saying? I was fucked up for you. Now, you know, you actually have to work to get niggas to be faithful to you. So, this is where you have the midlife crisis because you're coming into a whole new... It's like you're being born again. You know what I'm saying? Because, like... You're used to this right here, being treated like this by the opposite sex. I don't give a fuck how motherfuckers try to break it down to you. For the average, everyday motherfucker, your mindset depends on how you're treated by the opposite sex. If a bitch is used to niggas buying her drinks and buying her shit and always coming with like, ah, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be hard for her to deal with now niggas expecting for her to pay the bill. Expecting for her to pay all the bills, like, and if you don't do that shit, they gonna leave you. It's gonna take time to get used to that shit. Now you have to lower your standards, and that shit can make you go crazy. Because now you have to get into the mindset of the big girl in high school. But maybe the, the girl that was big in high school, she didn't got her shit together. She started working out early because she didn't want to be big all her life. So she been a vegan. She been had a membership at Planet Fitness that she used all the time. So now she fine as fuck. You know what I'm saying? But you, because you been fine up to 25, you never knew about none of this shit. But now, you done had your baby, had another baby. You don't have time for it. Because you've learned everything that you, and that's, one, that's another thing. You're so small-minded, so on top of all those things, you a ghetto nothing-ass bitch. Nothing-ass bitch meaning you want nothing in life. So you didn't learn anything. You're not open-minded enough to learn anything at 25. What you know at 25 is what you're going to know for the rest of your life. Ran to another bitch at the mall that I had to, you know what I'm saying, get her mind right. Explaining to her how the online business works. Without her having any business knowledge or anything like that, she goes immediately to telling me that that's not right. I'm like, hold, like, listen, first off, first off, listen, you never want to go into a situation ignorant and then overspeak the person that's been vetted and is versed, very versed and experienced in that field. There's no reason for me to go, I'm trying to learn how to fly planes and then I talk more than a pilot does. I'm here trying to learn. How in the fuck can I tell? But that's that mindset. And then she's the, you know, the regular weave, you know what I'm saying? Light skin, straight, you know what I'm saying? Good body, all that shit like that. No nigga has checked her. So she thinks she can just talk, talk, talk. 
But when you catch, and that's what I'm saying, ladies, when you catch a nigga who is on top of his shit, whatever like that, and he's actually trying to get, you need to fuck with, regardless of what this and that is, you need to try to fuck with that nigga so you can, if for no other reason, don't try to go in and get no money. Go in there and get some knowledge. If there's a nigga who knows something, especially about business, shut the fuck up. You don't know what's going on. And if you don't do that, as long as you keep talking, you're not going to learn a goddamn thing. And that's going to keep you in the same city and state that you've been in for all your fucking life. And even if you leave for a couple months, you're going to have to come the fuck back because that's where your family at. And you're going to need them to support you because everything you do keep failing because you don't have the mind for it. You don't have the mental wherewithal nor the mental fortitude to take in and keep. The skills that you need to go forward. And this is where we're fucking up at. I try not to. I don't like to fall and fall and fall into this bitch conversation. But to be honest, if there's any change that's going to come, it's not going to come from the outside. It's not going to come from the police officers or the fucking racists or anywhere that is foreign. It's going to come from right here. It's going to be a domestic change. If any change is going to come, it's going to be a domestic change. And it's going to have to start with the one that brings forth life. We have to start at the source. That is the fucking source. That's the source. But as long as we have... Let me say this first. Lame-ass niggas like Ice JJ Fish and even Offset. I'm going to say I'm going to use Offset because that's what y'all that's what y'all know right. That's what y'all equate to lame right now. So I'm going to say Offset. Niggas who will kiss the feet of a bitch that has no fucking mind to where she feels like every decision I make is the right one. No one can argue with me when no one should be like that. But as long as, the, as long as it's niggas like that who will do that shit, we're going to be lost. And as long as we have females with this childlike fantasy that having this child is going to change anything but how hard it is for me to move around on a day-to-day basis. We're going to continue to lose. Because that little boy that you refuse to raise because you're on your phone trying to find new victims for your fucking trap. That little boy is out there being raised by the fucking environment that you put him in. He didn't ask to be in the, uh, uh, in the fucking jungle. You put him there. Not you and his daddy, No. You solely made a decision. The same decision that you would have had to make if you were going to put him up for adoption, if you were going to abort him, and if you were going to have him. The man made no decisions other than, I'm going to fuck this bitch. And that decision can be made willy-nilly or uh, anytime. Just because your body can do it doesn't mean that you should. You don't fart every time you have gas. You don't burp every time you have gas. If you're on a road trip or you're at work, you don't piss on yourself. So just because your body says a sperm seal has met the egg, that doesn't mean you have to bring forth life. There are so many fucking ways that you can protect yourself from unwanted pregnancy. Oh, the birth control does something to my body. All oh, that good shit. Okay then, bitch. Analyze the father of your fucking child before you make him the father of your fucking child. If this nigga is out in the street smoking, popping pills, hitting the bag, drinking... The only time he's coming around you is to fuck. The only conversation y'all can have is during sex. That's not father material. That's not even fucking material. 
Don't punish a child for your low standards. Why would you why would you curse a child with that type of fucking sperm donor? You knew he was a sperm donor before he donated sperm. Am I insane? Am I fucking crazy? I, I, I see in the comment section these fucking retorted ass responses and shit like that. Should've wore a condom. Shouldn't have nutted. What does that have to do with parenthood? Why are you equating sex with the most important job on the planet? This is a physical act no different from running, swimming, or fucking walking the damn dog. This shit can mean nothing or mean everything. This shit right here can never mean nothing. It always is going to mean something. Whether it's good or bad. But black men get a bad rap because of you trying to have a keep a nigga baby. You didn't want the fucking child, so he had to be raised by the street. And then as soon as you as soon as he was too uh what annoying, you kick him out. Because now he's um uh what is it um unparentable? You know what I'm saying? He he get on your nerves and shit like that. What's up with these crazy bitches having kids? And it's like, yes, nigga, please. Yes, we do, yes we do, yes, but that see that's I teach the three S's, sobriety, solitude, and celibacy. And for all of you new motherfuckers, just by the way I speak, do I seem like a fucking idiot? Of course I know celibacy starts with a fucking C. It's a fucking... Love that chicken from Popeye's is just a fucking slogan. The three S's, it sounds better than two S's and a C. I'm seeing a lot of that shit lately. Please, don't try to be smart with a nigga on YouTube. Be smart in your everyday life so that you're not a slave and hate your life so much. That's why you want to bring despair on other people. Because you have nothing but negativity in your life. That's all that you can expel. That's all that you can dish out is negativity because that's all you get in yours. You can tell the people that are happy. It takes a whole, it takes a, 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 a mountain to move for them to get angry. How can you make a, 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 a successful person mad? They got a million, million of levels before you get to the fucking angry one. But a, a motherfucker that ain't got shit to live for a fucked up person. I got a short temple. No, you got short money. You fucked up out here. But I teach celibacy until you reach a successful point, I say, sobriety, solitude, and celibacy. You should not be doing any drugs because you need a clear head. I believe that every black man is equipped with something inside of his brain that will get him out of any situation. But it has to be his brain. No outside influences. So sobriety is number one. Solitude. You're fucked up right now. These are the, the three S's to get to success. Uh, Katrina Gibbs threw in sacrifice. That should be a given. Sobriety, solitude. Get the fuck away from everybody. You fucked up. You need to find out what the fuck is wrong with you. Not everybody else. The last one is celibacy. I, I, I feel like that because a lot of times when we as black men are fucked up, We'll go lay on a bitch. Go lay on a fat bitch, an ugly bitch, uh, maybe a retarded bitch, whatever the fuck. Anybody that we can manipulate to give us some shit like that. And we don't need that. You need to feel the full pain of being broke and fucked up. And your mind itself will get you out of that situation. It's not going to die. You know what I'm saying? Just like you, you can hold your breath for only so long, but you're going to pass out and your body's going to start breathing again. Same thing as a black man. It's going to be painful, but you're going to come out of it. But if you continue to take them small breaths, you're just going to 
make the process longer. Sometimes you just gotta go through that shit. You just have to go straight through it. Straight through that shit. And that's what I preach. Until you get to a point where you're, all right, you're gonna learn from that situation. You might be in the three S's for two years, three years, four years, 10 years, until you get your shit together to where you can walk. You got everything that you can pay your bills. You choose what bitch you wanna fuck with. She don't choose you. You don't have to do it out of the space. Anything that you do is gonna be out of your own choosing. You are the captain of your, that, that came from fucking um, the movie with Mandela and shit like that. You are the captain of your um, destiny. That's what he said, but really it's God. And you come to learn that later on. But right now, if you're in a fucked up situation, stop smoking weed, stop drinking, stop all that shit, stop popping pills. You're making, you're elongating this, pro, like you're extending your stay in the hell that you're currently inside of. Your mind cannot think its way out of the situation that you're in and nothing's going to work. It's not going to work. Have you not noticed this shit yet? The three S's really is for black men. I'm going to be honest with you. It's really for black men. I can't say it's going to work for white men or black uh, girls or white girls. I don't know about none of that. I know it's a black man though. Your mind, I've seen it happen multiple times. The smartest motherfuckers you will find is the niggas in jail. Not the niggas in jail who they, they smoking. They, no, the smartest niggas are the niggas who don't. They don't fuck with none of that shit. They in jail. They reading. They exercising. They stay to themselves. Them are the smartest niggas. Not that, I'm not going too deep in that. So, I, so with all that, ah, nigga, you need to watch where you... Why the fuck would you say that? Watch You say that like, I need to watch my step when in the Amazon jungle. Like, I need to watch my step in the Sahara. Why in the fuck... Should I have to be that fucking cautious fucking with a goddamn bitch? Why the fuck should I have to be that fucking cautious? Why the fuck should I have to compare walking in a fucking desolate death trap to fucking fucking a bitch? Watch where you stick it. Are you serious? Are you saying that for STDs or because every bitch that get pregnant is going to have a fucking child because she that fucking miserable and fucking lonely? The fuck are you talking about? Did you not have a life before I met you? you? So you telling me that you weren't trying to get anywhere in life. You weren't trying to get a goddamn place. Fuck that shit. All you want is a child. Uh, uh, Test down. Soon as you have a child, fuck that. Soon as you get pregnant, you made it. I'm like this bitch trying to make a million dollars. Uh, get the fucking Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, all this other shit I'm trying to do. But all the fuck you want. Right there. All good. You straight. That, that's what you have to be saying because you're not religious. You can't say you don't believe in abortion because uh, I, I don't believe in that. Uh, no, nah, that, that's, that's a strike against God. Bitch, you been fucking, what the fuck are you talking about, bitch? Don't nothing about you say anything about religion nor a fear of God. All of a sudden now, I, oh no, oh no, oh shit, no, oh, no, oh no, not me, oh no. You don't want the kid. You want the man. Be honest with yourself. Stop destroying people's lives. This is where all the hate is coming from. People have childhood traumas. Uh, pain that they can't get over. And it's because the fucking mother did not want to be a parent when she had the goddamn child. She wanted a relationship. Because if you wanted the child, that child wouldn't have no pent up hostility, anger towards mama. Uh, no, that's your pride and joy. And if it's not about no man, then why the fuck is you running down there to the child support office? I need help. So you thought you were going to have help when you was fucking the neighborhood crackhead? As soon as you get got pregnant, you knew who the daddy was and you said, oh yeah, that nigga going to stop smoking crack. He been smoking crack for 10 years, but he going to stop smoking crack because he, uh, he got a child now. 
he gonna face his responsibilities. This nigga that stole out of his mama, grandmama, then, then dug up his granddaddy grave to get his ring to go pawn that bitch for crap. But he gon' I don't believe in I don't believe in placating. I don't believe in uh, uh, all that dumb. This situation right here is strictly because of what I'm telling you about, bitch. You got what the fuck you asked for. You a ain't shit bitch, and that's what the fuck you asked for. That's what you raised. Good luck with it. I feel not a. I don't feel any fear. No nothing for you. Let that be a lesson to all of you young girls that are thinking of having children. With a nigga that you know does not believe in responsibilities or authority. Your daughter will be talking to you the same way or you'll be in prison for killing your child. Impossible decision. It's a big fast podcast. Make sure you hit the PayPal. See y'all in a minute. Love.